what we know about statin associated myalgias is that most of the time it's in the proximal muscle groups. So your thighs, your upper arms, your glutes. And the nice thing about statin associated myalgias is when you stop the statin, it should go away within four weeks. The quicker that it actually goes away, the better. It shows that it's more related to the statin. And then the other thing is we like to retrial patients. So if you've had a myalgia to a statin in the past, what we want to do is we want to retrial someone. I typically say start with a good statin that has a pretty long half-life. Either a torvastatin or suvastatin are usually my go-to for my first two. Don't go for the highest dose right off the bat. You're setting yourself up for someone to have a side effect. Start at a reasonable dose and try to get the biggest bang for your buck, meaning you want to see the most amount of LDL reduction for it with the lowest passive side effects. If you're in a room of 10 people, at least one person has had those muscle aches and pains from statin and then write statins off and hate them and are very vocal about how they hate their statin and it ruined their life in one way, shape, or form. So yes, there are real potential side effects of these medications that occur less than 1% of the time. But all in all, most people tolerate statins very, very well. 